Hello guys, this is my once again from Joseph Tech. In this particular video, I will be taking you through how to digitize um, vector data in QGI. So, digitization just means transforming in geographic data that can either be in a scanned um, format or probably in an area uh, format, satellite imagery, into vector format. And you do that by pressing those features uh, out. So, the features can be in either point, line, or polygon. So in this particular session, I'll be taking you through how to digitize those um, geographic information into a vector layer. So stay tuned. Okay, for you to um, digitize, for you to know to digitize either your points, your line, or polygon. So of course you have to have a base map. For you to work on, so let me quickly bring in a base map so I can add a, a raster here. I can add a raster here, zoom to layer, or you can go to your browser panel, then you can select the Google satellite or any base map from here for you to work with. Let me let me use OpenStreetMap. So let's go back to our layer. So you can see they are lining perfectly. Okay, see? They are lining perfectly. So by just putting um, this um, base map uh, to be our area of interest. So on this um, image, what we are interested in, we are interested in building as polygon. We can even digitize um, the area covered by this area. You might um, again um, digitize the road network. Um, uh, we don't have any point features only to digitize, but um, you can use the open street map if you have any point features at all. Okay, let's take another um, image. S3 image. Now let's use streets. Google Road, Google Road. Okay, I guess we are going to use the farm for digitizing point features. We are going to use the Google Road for digitizing point features. So I can move S3 streets and then S3 imagery and this. So let me move this one. Move this layers. So now what you need to do, do is to create the data, the vector data that you actually want to digitize. So you're actually in that particular area of interest, you want to digitize the road, the beautiful print and uh, some um, selected uh, point features. Let's say you are just interested in the church or mobs, hospital, as the case may be. So uh, this is our image here. Let me switch this one off. So zoom to layer. So what you need to do is you go to your you need to create those layers. So let's start with the um, the points layer, the points vector layer. So you go to layer, click on your create. So you go to the initial file. So you select the the folder you want to save your um, your work. So let me quickly create a folder and name it um, digitization. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to save my points. Okay, let me let me save uh, let me use that um, let me see hospital. Hospitals. Save. You see what is the geometry type is points. I click on points. What uh, I can leave this as an uh, OGS. Then probably I want to give my um, point data the name. I want to name the hospitals after digitizing them, picking them one by one. So I'm just going to specify an attribute, a column, or name. So this will be, it's going to be test data, of course, because this is alphabet, then I need to add to this list. Click on OK. So let's quickly create our linear space. Then again, let's go and create our linear feature, which is the road or the streets network. I said go back to that folder. Let me write streets. OK. So I can come here. This is line. Then again, okay, I might need the street name. Of course, test this is okay. Let me just add it to this. 
Okay. So now let me um, put the polygon up for the building footprint for the buildings. Let's say five. Let me just name it building. Save. Of course, it is very important to um, define your geometry polygon. Building footprint. I don't really need the anything. Let me just click on OK. So here we've created our vector layer, the point, line, and polygon. So for you to start digitizing, you need to highlight which of the layer you want to work on. So what is glaring from this I mean, let's assume we want to quickly digitize some of the buildings and the um, the landfill itself. So you need to select that particular um, vector layer. Then you use this tool to start editing. So you select it now. When you select it, you're going to notice that some other tools are going to be what activated. So these are other tools that you can actually use to work on it later do that. So you need to select this. Now for you to start picking your building footprint one by one, you're going to use this tool that says add polygon. So let me click on it. Now let me quickly pick one building. Let me say I'm picking this building. So you just need to specify the the segment when you are done with the segments you just right click and OK so let's assume there is a name for this building and I've specified that while creating the building and uh, building um, vector layer is going to the name is going to come up here but because I didn't specify anything the ID is, gener uh, is uh, automatically generated so let's click on OK you can see it means that this layer has been what selected so let me quickly click another building Okay, so you right click again, you click OK. So, guys, that's how you continue picking uh, your, your polygon uh, features. So, let's say I want to pick the landfill, so I just zoom in to pick the um, drawing polygon around the landfill. So, by this way. I'm actually digitizing the landfill. Okay. Okay. So so it covers this end. So let me just stop here. Okay. So now I've picked the landfill, guys. So I can for you after. Um, um, digitizing each of your layer, make sure you always save. So, I'm going to save that layer edit. Um, I save this edit for the building footprint. Now, let me quickly um, um, okay, we can stop editing for this one. Then, uh, for this to be more transparent and visible, let's make it a, an OLO symbology. Let's give it an OLO symbology, transparent symbology. So, you can double click, then uh, go to the symbology tab. Click on the simple fill. So now the fill color you can from transparent. So you're only going to be having the outline. So let's specify the outline to be yellow. Then let's um, increase the width of the outline. That is the stroke width. Apply. Okay. So you can see, guys. You can see the buildings. You can see. So now let's quickly um, digitize road network. Like I told you, anything you want to work on, you have to highlight it. So I select streets and I click on toggle editing. So you can see here, if you go um, here, you have your art line feature. So I'm going to click on this. Let's assume I want to uh, design this uh, major road that goes through the study of impress. So I'm going to just click, select the middle of the road to the end. When I go to the end of my impress, I'll see. Let's assume I know the name of this road. I'm going to put it name here. And it is actually showing based on the fact that I specify giving an, a name attribute while creating this vector layer. So I click on OK. So I decided to change the symbology for your root, how your root show. So, so you can decide to use this one or this one. So let me just use this one. So it's a major root, apply. OK. So you can see the root, guys. So let me quickly pick one or uh, other two street again. So these are connecting. So 
I'm going to go to this line. See? So there is an intersection here. I'm just going to stop here. So right click, then left click. OK. So I'll click that one too, guys. So let me click, let me pick this one. So I'm going to start from here. Okay, it stops somewhere here. Okay. So let me quickly put this one too. So you just follow the route to digitize your road network. So I'm going to stop. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you digitize your road. Let me quickly put this one too. Okay. Okay. Right click on okay. So that's how you digitize your road. Now if you see something, the intersection is not really um the roads are not actually intersecting very well. So you can come to your um, properties, your layer properties. When you come to advance, click on the symbol level, then enable symbol level. So by enabling the symbol level, the uh, road there and the line segments are going to actually align perfectly. You can see if you zoom out, this is what I'm trying to say. But if you zoom in, you can see that this road network are not touching each other. So you can just um, come here. This way, they have a um, vector vectex too. So you see, when you select this, you can just draw it closer. You see, so that's how you um, match to those that are actually separated. So now let's save, let's stop editing. You can just click this icon for the node network. Let's quickly click hospitals. That's it. We have at all. So, but for this, uh, we can't define an hospital with this satellite image. So, I'm going to enable the Google road here. The Google road, okay. Thank God we have hospitals here. So I'm going to alight my hospital, then use the um, toggle editing icon and come to add point feature. So I'm going to I'm going to show the hospitals here. So I'm going to click on this. Now based on the fact that I know the name, I can come here and write out the name Alimosho General Hospital. Okay. So let me click click another one. This tier let me just pick this uh, um, diagnostic center, just like an hospital. So, what's the name? Mast Diagnostics. Okay, so you can see an, uh, a point is uh, specified in that particular area. So, you can decide to change the way your points look. You can then generally, if you come here, you can see the all you select the all symbols. So, this is how you can symbolize your layer. You can decide to use uh, um, another symbol in here. This one is actually good to post speak to OK, apply. So, you can see. So, let's um, deselect this layer so you can see. So, if I right click and label this hospital. You are going to see the label because I actually give one a name. So label, single label. Now let me specify the column name. Is there already? Apply. Okay. So you see. So let's assume I have the name for this road network, and I name them. Their names are going to come, and then so that guys, that's how you um, digitize in the QGIS. So you have to create your layers. After creating your layers, bring it, you bring in your base map, you create your layers, then you start your digitizing properly. So see you later. So guys, in QGIS, that's um, basically how you digitize a map. So if you have any question, drop them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned something today. But before you go, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. See you next time.